Hi and welcome back for the 12th video in the Mouse House series. Today I'm making a miniature fish bowl. I found these tiny glass globes on AliExpress. I'll leave a link in the description below. I thought they would make an adorable fish bowl, so I started off with a small blob of UV resin to make a flat base for the bowl and cured it under my UV light. If you don't have a UV light, you can just leave your resin to cure in the sunlight. Next I took a pinch of dry clean sand, mixed it with a little resin and carefully used a toothpick to spread it around the bottom of the bowl making sure I didn't get it up the sides. So I added some green alcohol ink to a drop of resin with a clean toothpick. I spread it into fine plant shapes on my silicone mat before curing. When you're working with resin you have to be really careful to avoid getting it on your skin because it is toxic. found this silicone mold on AliExpress for teeny tiny goldfish. I'll leave a link for that in the description too. I chose the tiniest one for our fish bowl. It literally took like one and a half drops of resin and I used orange alcohol ink to colour my fish. Using a toothpick and a sewing pin, I encouraged the resin into all the little nooks and crannies of the mold so we didn't end up with missing fins etc. And cured it, of course. the goldfish I made a little stand out of resin so it would look like it was floating in the bowl later on. Let's assemble our bowl. Using a drop of resin on the bottom, I was able to position the plants where I wanted them, curing it each time to hold them in place. The plants were so delicate, it was really hard to handle them without breaking anything. If you're new to this channel, click subscribe so you don't miss any new uploads. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button and don't forget to leave a comment. I'd love to hear from you. Now 
to position the goldfish. Right about now, I realised that the stand I made for the fish was a fraction too tall, but I ran with it anyway because why not? <laughs> Looking pretty cute so far, eh? But our bowl means it's water. I used a different type of resin for this part since it was going to be much thicker. This is a two part resin where you add three parts of one type and one part of another type. I'm guessing the one part is a hardener or activating agent. You have to mix them together thoroughly while also avoiding bubbles. This is the first time I used it, so to be honest, I was kind of winging it here. Then I poured it into the fish bowl to make it look like it was filled with water and I left it overnight to cure. And here's the final reveal. I think it's really cute but if I were to make one again I would add a lot more colour to both the fish and the plants so they stand out more. My next video is out in two weeks so hit the notification bell so you don't miss out. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye!